Hi, welcome to the next Advent Calendar window for the Fit Finance Sessions. Now, being Santa Claus and living in Lapland, I'm a little bit worried this year that I'm not going to have the runway frozen in time to take off and deliver all those Christmas presents. Tom, is there any investment solution that might help freeze Lapland? <laughs> well, uh, I would think if if I was Santa and I was trying to keep the uh, the temperature down, then I'd want to be putting my money in investments that are maybe... Uh, not catering towards global global warming so much um, and what's happened over the the last few years and particularly um uh through through this pandemic uh, clients are more interested in esg or sustainable uh, investments um esg sounds a bit odd it's an acronym um but that means ethical social and governance issues and what that means is that um those issues are front and center of the investment decision process. So um, companies that have a better record on the environment, have a better record on gender pay, or, or generally just run the company in a, uh, in a better way, those uh, investments tend to focus in those sustainable portfolios or, or, or ESG funds. Um, there's different levels of how strict those, those rules are, but if you're wanting to maybe... Um, uh, think with your heart as much as your head, then um, uh, then sustainable funds or ESG funds are, are, are perhaps the way to go. Oh, it sounds like a really good thing. I think I might be looking into that. But Tim, there must be some drawbacks. What are the drawbacks to investing ethically? Yeah, well, I think there's a, there's a couple. Well, well, that's a very charged question there, Santa. What are the drawbacks <laughs> Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, as Tom said, it, it's been um, becoming more and more of a thing over the, the later later years. Um, but generally speaking, compared to the more mainstream investments, it's a relatively new thing. So um, I don't want to use the word speculation, but it is um, you know, there's less data really from the past to back up future future decisions um, off the back of that. But I think generally speaking, these types of investments are more, as Tom said, left with the heart rather than the head. I think it's more um, a case of people investing. Um, and this sort of thing to do with their moral uh, compass, if you will, their, their obligations and their personal life and how they want to prepare their, where their money's going um, off the back of that. And typically, another one, uh, whilst it's becoming less and less of an issue as, as the market grows in, in general, this particular market, ESG um, funds and fund world, is that historically a lot of the investments were US based. So geographically, you're exposing yourself to. Um, a lot more of, of US policy. I mean, of course, generally speaking, with globalization, a lot of companies op operate internationally now anyway, but clearly, you know, policy and that sort of thing, they would be affected by. Um, that's becoming less and less of an issue as, as more and more funds are, are born really into this space. Oh, cool. Well, I think I will be replacing a lump of coal that was destined for your two stockings this year, and perhaps you'll get a windmill instead. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining Thanks. us. Until tomorrow's window opening, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.